Hear ye, hear ye, the great Grox Destroyer has come to our humble village. You will give him your utmost attention. That is all. God bless. Hello everyone and welcome to my first video on the game Antioi. Now this is a game that I've been playing for a while. And what it is, is it is a fairly complex strategy game in which you try and conquer the entire land. The land is made up of hexes and you can do mult and it is a turn based game. I was about to say you can do multiple things, but no, it is a turn based game. You can do as much as you want in one turn, that is. But once your turn is up, then you hit the low arrow, lower right, and you try and stop these guys from invading. So, I haven't sorted here for you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That failed. Let me just show you a game from the beginning. Um, ooh, this is interesting. So, what you do is you have buildings, which consist of farms, whatever you call that, and a better version of whatever you call that. Can't believe I can't remember that word, whatever it is. You also have peasants, guys with shields, guys, and better guys with shields. Okay, they, they are better names than that, but I don't remember them. And so what you're trying to do, as I said before, is conquer the entire area. And what you want to do, first off, is get your two guys here. You want them connected, that way they have the same money. As you can see in the upper left you get basically currency, you know, money to buy things and do things to help out your empire or whatever you call it. And so I haven't showed this game to you guys recently because it's less of a action game and more of a just patient waiting and calm strategy game. Which I like to play a lot myself, but it doesn't always make for the most thrilling YouTube co content, if you get what I'm saying. So let's see. You can also combine guys, like this guy can level up, so to speak. Combine him with that guy to make a better guy. Same thing over here I've been doing. So building a lot of farms. That way I can buy more guys to do my bidding and to take out the other guys. I please please excuse me if if my explanations are terrible, but believe me it is a very, very fun game and you should definitely check it out. Antiyoy is the name of this game, Antioy. Another thing about this game which is quite interesting is as you can see the guy from Green just cut up the mill there, you have to have a congruent chain of supply, yeah, congruent supply line back to this guy, Mastery, in my case, to get all the money to these guys way down here. If I don't, then it cuts off these guys and they might, and if they're cut off from supply lines, then they will die. Like that guy just did there. So you have to be very careful and very cognizant of having supply lines cut off. I also use that a lot, as you can see right there, to cut off those guys. That way, even though they're cut off, you can over time rebuild. So if it's your enemy, you don't want them rebuilding. And they keep on wanting to cut me off, which isn't isn't very nice in driving with cars, and it isn't very nice in this game either. But, anyway, let's see if we can get these green guys. So, another thing, try and take on one front at a time if you can. Like, attack one guy at a time. If you can't, like, in this case I have these light green and dark green both attacking me. So, I don't really have a choice in the matter. But 
if you can, try and only fight one enemy at a time. Like, I'm not just going over here and randomly attacking pink and red. So as you can see in the upper middle, that is how much money I'm getting next time. And in this case, it's negative 23 because they just cut me off. But if I reestablish that communication link, you know, whatever you want to call it, then it jumps back up to positive numbers. You definitely want to keep that number in the positive as long as you can. Otherwise, your units are going to start dying, and that is never a good thing. I don't know if I told you guys this earlier, but these farms actually give you money, as well as territory. So, did you see that the top number up there went from negative 5 to negative 4? Negative 3? So every hexagon is one extra money point, you could say. As you can see, this time I didn't do so well. And before I end off this very small video, I want to say another thing that try not to let these trees grow too much. Because the trees block these hexagons having production. And unfortunately, I... I don't really have much of a fighting chance and I'm going I'm going to die very very quickly here and that is quite sad RIP oh no this this isn't gonna end well wait they're, they're letting me survive for a bit longer no no get over with there we go oh and then the AI takes over, does a bunch of turns, and man, they're in a big stalemate, but Red is slowly marching across. Come on, Red, I know you can do this. Oh, or Green. Oh, Green's doing some serious damage. Okay. Okay. Yep, Green is doing serious damage, and Green won. Yay. I didn't win, but... That's okay, so there's also a skirmish option where you can set the difficulty, the map size, players, colors. Yes, this is a multiplayer game, which is pretty awesome. I do campaign and save whenever you're at peace, basically. Tutorial, you can make your own here in the editor, but... With that, I would like to end off this very short episode on this amazing game. It's great for killing time, and it's also great for a strategy game. So, I would highly suggest that you check it out anyway. If you like this video, please click the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more of this, please comment down below and tell me that you like it. And subscribe if you haven't already. And with that... Goodbye.